All right, we're going to check out the Roswell case. It's the R863MBK. Just got it from Amazon. And uh, this one comes with a cooling fan and a power supply. So let's see what we got here. Okay, the whole thing is in this tape. Keep it scratch free. There's something rattling around in there. Hopefully everything is okay. Looks very sleek. Got your USB ports there. Audio and mic. Obviously the power button. Probably a restart button. A optional bay. And disk drives. In the back, you can see the installed fan that came with it right out of the box and the power supply also has a fan, got four expansion slots, and then the motherboard goes there. Let's take a look. Oh, I got those tight. Let's take a look how the inside is here. These are just straight up screws, they don't have the stop on them to keep them from falling all the way out. So with those out, looks like we can pull back and drop. Very similar to my HP case. Okay, let's see what was flopping around here. We have a new power cord. Paperwork on the power supply. Of mounting hardware, the optical drives. Wow. Okay. Uh, there. The USB plugs, fan. Let's see what came on this guy. We've got. Looks like we have two SATA, two standard power supplies, uh, CPU power, not just a whole lot hanging off of there. Hopefully we got enough of what we need. Put in my new board. So we're just going to be doing a case transplant. Um, my other case and fans and everything was uh, getting to where I just couldn't use it anymore. So hoping for a little quieter experience with this case. Comes with a case install guide. Start the transplant here. All these tucked over here until I need them. Same with this guy. Him out of the way. Oops. Out of the way. Put our plate in. Put this in place. Tuck it.
first. And then I'll move it this way. I have to get this off the chassis a little bit more. I don't tell you that. But it appears to be nonetheless. So the instructions failed to mention that you have to put these spacers in here. I was wondering what they were for. Now I guess I know. So, with those spacers in here, now we are able to put this board down. It does tell us how to remove the front. It says pull from bottom. Yep, that worked. So it's just a rail system. You put in these smooth headed screws and it just slides right in that rail and clicks into place so doesn't appear the hard drives can be mounted in the quick bays we're going to mount them Hopefully, if there's room, there appears to be a screw missing there. I wonder. Ha! So we mount them in here first, apparently. So this is our hard drive bay compartment. And we mount it in here with the standard screws. There's our other one. Slide it in here. Once we have our hard drive bay loaded, we slip it back in here. Let's see if I can figure this out here. Oh, there we go. I hit both tracks. Okay. Put our safety screw in. All right, so everything's going pretty simple so far. That hard drive bay was pretty cool. As you can see with this motherboard, um, if I had had some pretty serious heat sink on these two RAM bays, uh, the hard drive would have been in the way. So if you're putting together a computer and you're looking at motherboard configuration, um, you can take a look at this one. The power cable is also under there, which not a big deal. It's doable. If I had to unplug it, I could just take out the drive bay again. Quick overlook of placement on a micro... ATX style board and drive placement as usual plenty of room for those drives and as usual not so much room here we have 
like I mentioned before, if these had heat sinks on them, then we would have had a problem. Case has a good vent system here, which isn't exactly in line with my CPU. My CPU is about right here. So this vent wouldn't work for a, a funnel. That's what you plan. So you might want to take note of that. That's where it is. And that's where it is on the board. So if you're buying a specific board, it might work. Let's see how quiet it is. It's a stock power supply and fan. Oh, and I just noticed it does come with this uh, optional lock, which would uh, screw onto the case in there and then give you a piece to lock to. So, it does come with that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and turn it on and can let you hear the noise. That's just ambient room noise you hear now. Here we go, we're going to kick it on. So, not too bad. You can obviously hear air movement. Just sounds like a well cooled PC to me. Alrighty, there you go. Hope this helps any of you looking for a case. Um, it's one, if not the cheapest case you can get right now uh, with the power supply included. So, for the price, I would say it's a pretty good deal. Check out the uh, I mean, we're not really high class on the front here, but I don't see anything happening to it unless you just abuse your system. Seems good to me. Hey y'all, thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. You'll find a link to this box in the description. Um, yeah. Anyway, catch you next time. Don't forget to go on over and subscribe.